All right, everyone. So let's continue on here. Um, I guess we're just gonna keep him as my main Pokemon for now. It seems like he's good in this this forest. Remember, the first male Pokemon I catch has to be named Joe Rogan. I just haven't done it yet because I keep forgetting. <clears throat> what the hell's over here? What the? Oh look, Snore. TM24 Snore. Let's see what this is. Attack can be used only if the user's asleep. The harsh noise may also make the target flinch. So if you get put to sleep, you can use an attack. What I'm assuming is that's for Snorlax, you know? Like, that's going to be a Snorlax ability. Two Hyper Potions. That's a new item I didn't get yet. Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. Yeah, I've been trying to touch them and see what they do. M Madam Judy. Indeedy. What is that thing? Indeedy. I'm gonna try Night Slash, the new ability. Oh my god. Well, super effective insta kill. The Clinton Foundation tipped me a dollar so Jeffrey Epstein did kill himself. <laughs> well, so the Clinton Foundation like, nah, he killed himself. Holy no mystery here. Thank you for the dollar tip, whoever that was. She's sending out, wait, she's sending out another Indeedy. If the first Pokemon failed, why would you send out the same, this, another Pokemon of the same type? I mean, that's pretty stupid, huh? All right, well, I, Night Slash looks pretty good. Just do it again. Goodbye. Wow. Free, free experience. Free experience. All right. What the fuck is that? Hit level 32. Oh, he wants to learn Slam. I don't know if I'm going to want to learn that. I, get, I could get rid of Crafty Shield. Yeah, I don't know if I want Crafty Shield. It sounds kind of crappy, right? So it'll just protect from status move. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of Crafty Shield. I don't think it's very good anyway. Okay. Okay. Learn Slam. Mac hits level 39. Very nice. Mac apparently is going to evolve soon. Madams like me react in sad ways when we're defeated. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so. This is going to jump down back to where I was. Oh, crap. Another one of these stupid things. There's so many Morgrims. Torment doesn't even affect me. What, su what sucks is I'm running out of the Venoshock. I'm running out of Venoshock to use on these assholes. Step the Chicken tipped me a dollar said, I've ever thought about changing my name to Super DSP. Uh, no. But I guess I could. I could be a super version of myself. Why not? I wanted to change my name to Max Power. What do you think if I change my name to Max Power? How would you guys like that? Yeah. What's over here? This this woods these woods are really confusing. A luminous moss. It boosts special defense if the holder is hit with a water type attack and it can only be used once. What the fuck? That's really oddly specific. Look. Ooh, U turn. What is this? After making an attack, the user rushes back to switch places with a party Pokemon in waiting. Huh. I don't know if I would ever want to use that. So this whole thing was a, a, a special area to grab those items, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. I know there's some trainers I skipped. It looks like if I go north, that's the end of the stage. I should go back to those trainers I skipped. Here they are. <clears throat> I came to ride a Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. The railways are amazing. They carry lots of people in Pokemon at once. 
Wow. The Daring Couple, Jacqueline and Robert. Okay. Her Earlia and Nine Tails. Wait a minute. Is my Dragora healed? I don't think it is. Oh, shit. This could be bad. Earlia's Trace and Stench. Oh, no. Dragora does have full health. Night Slash. Let's use this against Curlia. Let's him use Dual Chop also on Curlia. Uh oh, use Quick Attack and Attacks first. Does nothing. Great. Night Slash! Oh, giant damage insta kill. Oh my god. Dude, that Night Slash is ridiculously powerful. That's great. What the hell are you guys talking about? I looked down and people were talking like, I don't know. Anyway. Whoa, triple level up. Pamela Pew hits level 39. Dragora hits level 35. Asshole hits level 34. Very nice. Dual chop. That was okay. Critical hit on the second hit. And the auto heal, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It loves quick attack. You're talking about Jim Bob's announcement to run for a mod? Oh boy. Is that what you guys are talking about? <laughs> Alright, we whooped their ass. Seriously. Now Pikachu, it's level 29. Very good. Oh, too strong. I guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. Oh, a good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. He really likes the train. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to catch this freaking Pokemon I didn't catch yet. Why are there no Pokemon in this grass? I gotta try to catch this thing. Shin Shinati. Nice fart noises. <laughs> fart noises. I don't know if the flamethrower is gonna kill it or not. I'll see. Let's see if it kills I hope it doesn't kill it. Nice! It's in a good situation here to, to catch it. Sleeping powder. Oh no. Put my skunk to sleep. How could you? Uh, yeah, Derek, I'm gonna keep having Pikachu level up. Pikachu has to be in my party for the rest of today's stream anyway. So I'm just gonna keep having him level up because people are saying he learns good moves if you keep him in your party. When you evolve him to Raichu, he actually doesn't learn the good moves. So I'm gonna keep him leveling up for now. And he gets out. Son of a bitch. Did I name Joe Rogan? No, yeah, I can maybe name this guy Joe Rogan. Is this a, is this male? It is. I gotta name this thing Joe Rogan if I catch it. <laughs> Joe Rogan the Mushroom Hay. Come on, Joe Rogan. Catch him! Yes! Joe Rogan! He talks about mushrooms a lot. He does. He talks about being on shrooms. Well, there you go. Let's get Joe Rogan. <laughs> There he is. Grass and fairy type. It's flickering spores lure and prey and put them to sleep. Once this Pokemon has its prey snoozing, it drains the vitality with its fingertips. That's creepy shit, man. Kills you in your sleep. All right, we did it. We did it. We finally have Joe Rogan. And apparently it's appropriate to him because he likes shrooms. He loves those magic mushrooms. There you go. We got Joe Rogan. Oh, it had a tiny mushroom? Place it in my bag. Cool. Now, I need to name a Pokemon Quiet Man. We still haven't done that. What happened to that? the ghost? I want the ghost, uh... The ghost tree Pokemon was around here, too. And I can't get it. Look. Whoa. Play cool, uh... My, uh... My starter Pokemon evolved last stream. It went to its third and final evolution. Damn it, I already have this, don't I? No, I don't have this. I killed it by accident. I need to catch this thing.
Everything is like effective. Here, I'm gonna use flamethrower. Hopefully, it doesn't die. Oh, wait, I already have it. It says I already caught it. I didn't even realize that. Never mind. Oh, I'm asleep. Oh shit. I'm asleep. What area am I in? I don't know what this is called. It's some kind of a forest. Will this thing ever? Will my skunk ever wake up? Well, he's immune to psychic. I didn't even know that. Nice. Now kill it. Goodbye. Very good. Patrick will evolve at level 40. Okay. I don't have it in my party. I did I did catch one, but I didn't put it in my party. I want that ghost wooden Pokemon. It was a ghost tree. I want to catch that. And then I can move on, but that was one here I didn't get. It looked cool. Damn it. This guy again. He's farting. Maybe he's all fart when he comes out. <laughs> Reno shot. Insta kill. Very nice. What the fuck is that? Just up. Oh, oh uh, just uh, leveled up. Level 33. It was. It was another Joe Rogan. Every time we see those, we gotta call them Joe Rogans. Actually, revolves at level 38. Ooh! Apparently, if I catch this Sinus T, I have the ability to make it evolve already. I have the item I need. So, I, w I don't want to kill it. I want to hurt it, but not kill it. Okay. Good damage. Aromatherapy. It failed. All right, we'll use Venoshock, which is not very effective. Then we'll try to catch it. Nice, we're gonna try to catch it now. Oh, I get it. Sinus T. Why are the penny points going? Because Twitch is ap apparently going to reset the whole system and relaunch it in January for everybody. God damn it. I guess I'm gonna use an Ultra Ball. I want this thing. we go. Come on. We got it. Yeah. You got to find a synergy with the official seal kitten on the bottom of the teacup. What the hell does that mean? Pikachu leveled up. Level 30. Sinus T. Black tea Pokemon. This Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possessed a cold leftover cup of tea. What should we call it? We should, what should we call it? Uh, what do you call? What should we call a cup of tea? Earl Grey, Pico, orange Pico. No, it says black tea, so it's not orange Pico. What should we call it? <clears throat> Make sure it's real. It could be a fake. What does that mean? Cuphead. Oh my god, that'd be cool. Cuphead. Sinus Tipos. <laughs> spot as in spot of tea. There's two versions, oh yeah. Uh Hmm. Hold on. Damn it, I lost it. Someone had a good suggestion, I lost it. Cuphead. I'm gonna call it Cuphead, I like that. Is it female? Call it Mrs. Potts. Is it female? I don't know. I'm just gonna name her, I'm gonna name it Potts. Pots. Should I put it into my party so I can evolve it? Because I have the item to evolve it, too. If that's the case, I should swap somebody out. Um, Let's get rid of what the fuck is that. I don't think this evolves any further, does it? I don't think so. Let's do that. Oh, it doesn't have a gender. 
It's genderless. Yeah, it's genderless. It's got dark... Wow, it's got interesting abilities for a ghost. It doesn't have any ghost abilities, right? How do you check the Pokemon? It's serious by nature. How would I check it? What are you guys talking about? I gotta give it an item, right? I have to give it the thing to evolve it. What do you give it? The cracked pot. That's it. Yup. Should I give this to it now? Or not? Should I evolve it? Because I don't know. With, Poke with Pikachu, you told me not to evolve it right away. Should I evolve this thing right away? <clears throat> See what happens. I don't know. No one really seems... I'm going to evolve it. It's going to evolve now. See what happens. It's a ghost... It's a ghost Pokemon with no ghost abilities. Freaking weird. <clears throat> okay. We got to go fight. And once I fight, it'll evolve. No, I like how it lights the, the path up. Alright, new area coming up. Look at this. Look at it. It's full of shrooms. An area full of shrooms. What the hell? This is a town? Holy shit. Dude, this is fucking cool. A town in the middle of these, these psychedelic woods. That's nice. Very nice. Let's look, First of all, let's rest the Pokemon up. He says, low, low. Let's rest our Pokemon up. I want to go back and evolve that. Evolve my, my T Pokemon. Sung Quan, I don't know how to look at the bottom of the cup to see if it's a genuine Sinus T. How do you do that? How would you do that? I don't need any rest. Now let's go, uh, let's go fight and it'll evolve because it has the tea, the teapot, right? I gotta find some grass. I found the smallest patch of grass I've ever seen. Well, no Pokemon are spawning in that stupid thing. What the hell is that? Plus Simeon. Alright, we got a Pokemon to cast. Akiyotoria says you can only find out when Dynamaxing. Good. CM Fool tip $16. He's the name of grass type Pokemon, Elvis Parsley. Well, CM Fool, thank you for the tip. However, you're not the top contributor. The top contributor is Akiyotoria with that 2000 bit cheer earlier. You have to top that. So sadly, you did not top it. I'm sorry. A part Passimian. All right, so CM Fool, thank you. Let me get you on the leaderboard, but sadly you did not get the con top contribution of the stream. Go up to fifty-seven dollars in tips. Elvis Parsley, I actually like that Elvis Parsley, but you're not top contributor, so. Oh, you're right, Adorabat. There was a, a mission to deliver a letter to this place we're about to go. You're right. Okay, damage. You flinched, you can't move. That's good. Do it again. I want to catch this thing, a Passimian. You 
Yuri face. I'm gonna try to catch it. Ultra Ball. Come on. Give it to me. I want that Pasumian. Yeah! Very nice. All right, so Pepe Le Pew hits level 40. Very nice. All right. Simeon has been added to the Pokedex. It's a fighting type. Guess what we're naming it? The Quiet Man. Because it's a fighting type. We said when we get another fighting type, we're going to name it the Quiet Man. So we're doing it. So displaying amazing teamwork, they follow the orders of their boss as they help out all in search of their favorite berries. It's Quiet Man. Perfect. This is good. We got all of our naming requirements done now for today. Excellent. Oh, fuck. The Quiet Man. Send that to the box. All right, good stuff. But our guy didn't evolve, right? Our Pokemon didn't evolve. How do you get... Does anyone know how Pots evolves? I guess maybe you have to level it up too. I don't know how it works. Does anyone know how this works with pots? Because I want to evolve pots. Can't see. Farts. Farting. <laughs> Good game goblin tipped a dollar and said, Why don't I do top tip and top cheer to name Pokemon? Well, number one, being very honest, I don't think it's a bad idea. However, I think it's more of a competition if only one person gets to name a Pokemon on a stream. And plus, that's good. It won't mean that every stream is two or three Pokemon getting named. And now next thing you know, everything has a weird name. See? I, I, I think it's a better competition if everyone's competing for the entirety of the stream. Plus, then it gets more confusing. Oh, top cheerer is this. Top tipper is this. Top cheerer is this. Top tipper is this. And then everyone's competing different ways. I, I think I just want to do the one. I just want to do the one. Okay. Oh, you use the item, you don't equip it? What? You use the item, you don't equip it. Really? Okay, so you need to check if Sinistee has a mark of authenticity at camp. If it does, you need a chipped pot. If not, you use the craft pot. What the fuck? I'm confused. I don't know, guys. It has the pot. I'm just so confused. I don't know what to do anymore. How, how do I use the item that's already equipped on a Pokemon? It's got the cracked pot on it. Okay. Use this item on pots. It worked. Yes, it worked. Okay, here we go. Uh. Whoa! A Poltegeist. Poltegeist. What on earth? That's silly as hell. All right, Poltegeist. This species lives in antique teapots. Most pots are forgeries, but on rare occasions, an authentic work is found. I wonder if mine is real or not. Was it fake or real? All right, so it wants to learn tea time. What is tea time? 
The user has tea time with all Pokemon in battle. Each Pokemon eats its held berry. What the fuck? It's real? So I have a rare, authentic Pokemon? Seriously? I don't know why I would want to use this. Protect. Let's see. Protects yourself from all attacks. Mega Drain. Sucker Punch. Aromatherapy. Heals all status concessions affecting the user's party. Oh, man. It was forgery of evolved with a cracked pot. I'm so confused. Josh Hustle and Cigars, yes, if you wanted to send me a seasonal variety of craft beers, I would accept it. That would sound good. I would actually try them during the Christmas marathon. That sounds like a great idea, man. You can email me at darksidephilahotmail.com. We'll talk about it, okay? I would say yes, I would like to do that. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Do I really want tea time? All it does is it makes Pokemon eat its berries. Who cares about that? <laughs> All right, who cares about that? I would say healing all status conditions is good. Sucker punch is probably good. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know what to do. This is a new kind of Pokemon for me. I'm confused. What do you think? Should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? Yes, there's Minecraft tonight at 6.45 p.m. Pacific Time, Claude. I don't need protect. I should keep tea time. Aromatherapy is good. I don't need tea time. Protect is so good. Don't use tea time. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, I guess protect from all attacks. I probably don't want. Don't care about that. But I don't see how tea time is good either. I think they both suck. I'm not going to get it. I don't think I, want, I don't want people to, to eat berries. Who cares about that? Okay. All right, we're done. All right, now let's go back to town. So now can I buy Ultra Balls? Let's see. No. Oh. I can buy Hyper Potions, but I can't buy Ultra Balls yet. I need to buy antidotes. Buying all the status ailment repairing things. Uh, excuse me. Whew. I think I'm good with everything else. Okay. I can't believe I can't buy Ultra Balls yet. Frank, my name, that's my granddad's name. What? Fuga, Fuga, ga, ga, ga. I'm a Pokemon, have a battle with me. Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon, I don't mind. You don't have to worry about me, even I know it's pe pretty lo lofty logic. I wanted to become a Pokemon once. You can be one. I got it. A change of fashion style can change the way I feel. If I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, I'll be... <laughs> Excuse me. If I can make my way feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? Would you please put on some clothes of a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? 
What's this? I feel like I've completely become a Pokemon. I haven't had fire-type clothing on. Wearing a hot, fire-styled outfit make you feel different. I feel like I've become a fire-type Pokemon. Thanks for cheering me up. It's hardly a proper reward, but I hope you like it anyway. Acrobatics is a move that does more damage if the user isn't holding an item. So, I randomly was wearing what he wanted, and I got a TM from it. The user nimbly strikes the target. If the user is not holding an item, this attack inflicts massive damage. Wow. Can I teach that to anybody? <clears throat> it's a flying type? Oh. It's a flying type attack. Yeah, I don't have a... I need that, that, you know, no flying type. Huh. Pikachu could learn Dig. He could learn Charm. He can learn Payday. He can learn Electro Web. Anyway. Okay. Tell Derek bye so he can leave. I didn't see he was saying he was leaving. I didn't see that. Okay. Opal's been a gym leader for a long, long time. Opal's gym stadium has a small theater. If you're looking for Frank, that'd be me. What's this? You got a letter addressed to me. Oh. I handed the old letter to the old man. Who could be sending letters? It's, my, it's presents from Paula. That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill and didn't tell me. She kept it in secret just how sick she was. I ended up having a great row about it, and I moved away not long after that fight. I never met her again after, until after the day I left. <clears throat> How was she? Did she look well, dear old Paula? She was a girl. I mean, she died as a kid. That was her ghost. Yeah, she was a ghost. She looked well. That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I ought to give you something for this gift. You brought me back a piece of my youth. A choice scarf. This curious scarf boosts speed, but only allows the use of one move. Holy shit, it was a ghost. You have a dear friend in your life, treasure them while you have them close. Wow, that's creepy as fuck. Don't interrupt our conversation. What? Is she talking to a ghost? She is. There's ghosts everywhere. There's ghosts everywhere. At Dorbass, if you go back to where the ghost was, you get another reward. Do it. Where was that ghost? To the right. <clears throat> Up here. Oh, uh, no, it's not here anymore. There's no ghost. Oh, wait. Is that it? A rare candy? That's where the ghost was, right? I think so. <clears throat> Mr. Baba Vera, cheer. You said ghosts everywhere. Call Luigi. See you later, Derek. I don't know what's going on with penny points, dude. So that was it. I got a rare candy. Examine the spot where she was next to the door. I just did that, and I got a rear candy. You tell me that wasn't it? That wasn't it. CM Fools asks, says, Did I know Pikachu could use Surf and is riding on a battleship? No, I did not know that. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Josh Hushel and Cigars. I'll check out that email later. Uh, 
There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Oh, wait! Scrap of Reaper Cloth. A cloth imbued with horrifyingly strong spiritual energy. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. <clears throat> Thank you for delivering the letter. What is that for? Dark Sneed Phil. Timmy a dollar says, Joe Biden, <laughs> Joe, Joe Biden touched my private place. What is going on? <clears throat> All right, we're up to $58 in tips today, guys. FYI, I'm streaming until 4, so about another 50 minutes of, a, of Pokemon on stream today. <clears throat> okay. No. Could I get... You think this would help a ghost Pokemon? Oh, you put the Reaper Cloth on a Dusk Clops to evolve it to Dusk Noir via trading. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Sadly, I don't have that. I never got the Dusk Clops. So I guess I could never do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I keep screwing up. Okay. All right. Interesting. Let's continue. <clears throat> Dark Sneed Phil, I already read your tip. I don't know why I'm reading it again. Look at you defeated Snow on si Snow on Sides Gym Leader. You probably know your way around a TM like this one. What? Hex. Yeah, I already have Hex. Yeah, having your Pokemon learn moves of different types can be a real help. Actually, actually, can I teach that to my pots? <clears throat> yes! Alright, I should teach it. I'm gonna get rid of Protect. I'm gonna give it Hex, so it actually has a ghost type move. Yeah. There we go. The Hex. Amazing GT23 says once you get to the last gym, you can catch a champ, Gengar, and Dust Noir in the wild. They're rare, but you can find them. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, good. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance changes. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving? I'll teach you while battling. Oh, surprise battle. Eternal Napalm, I totally agree with you. The Frozen Wild is a very good expansion for Horizon Zero Dawn. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. All right, Dottler, say goodnight with that nice slash. Oh, yes. It didn't die? Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Reflect. Oh, birdie, too. Burn the boat. Goodbye. Uh Asshole levels up. He wants to learn Brick Break. It breaks barriers like light screen and reflect. Okay. I would say get rid of Double Kick. Double Kick sucks. Yeah, we'll get rid of Double Kick. Very nice. I'm finding a 20 sided die as a Super Slade. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? No. The secret is this Evio Light. <clears throat> I got it. A mysterious evolutionary lump. When held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold this Evio Light, that Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. Interesting. Alright, so FYI guys, I'm streaming for about another 45 minutes. The top contributor of today is still Accio Artorius. There's still time for someone to beat him. But he is the top contributor. He will get to name a Pokemon if no one beats him, okay? <laughs> what I just got. Rest. Rest our heroes. Very nice. Rest our heroes.